Now this was just a real treat, you know, to be able to review this in general because, you know, having made so few of them, Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the SAF Lithgo Target Rifle. So this rifle here guys is probably something that you'll never ever see in the flesh. Um, maybe there's a couple here in Australia left but you know when they were made here in Australia back in the 1960s there was only about 132 of them ever made. So you know they are a very rare and uh, collectible firearm. So I feel pretty uh, privileged guys to share this one with you. Um, obviously there's a lot of sentimental value you know, um, with this being Australian made and uh, just what it stands for. So what is the history on this? So let me talk a little bit about it. I won't bore you too much with it, but look, if you're a real history buff and you know more about it than what I do, please feel free to comment in the uh, comment section below so that we can all, um, you know, enjoy reading and learning about this unique firearm. So my knowledge on it is pretty basic. All I know is that uh, back in the 1960s, the National Rifle Association Australia was looking for a new competition rifle that was uh, chambered in 7.62 NATO. So what happened was the Lithgow uh, factory made a single shot target rifle based on the service rifle of that time, being the L1A1 or SLR rifle, okay? So what happened was this rifle was not successful and uh, the Omark 44 was selected instead. So obviously there was still a few of these uh, left and you know, just certain people were able to buy them and uh, you know, hang on to them over the years. So um, what I'll do is let me just uh, clear it first, okay? And then I'll run over how it works and uh, everything like that. So let's just give you the run by first. So any of you who are familiar with the SLR will look at this and go, geez, there are a lot of similarities, you know, with the SLR. And that's because the uh, lower part of the receiver basically is the SLR. However, this rifle has been made from the ground up as a single shot um, 308, basically, okay? On the um, left-hand side of the receiver, you can clearly see here um, SAF Lithgow uh, Target Rifle 7.62, okay? Um, you know, it wasn't a converted SLR, and I know there was a couple of conversions around, but this is the real one. This is one of the originals of 132 of them. So on the uh, serial number here too, uh, an important note is, you know, it's uh, 690042, so made in 1969, and it was number 42 of those 132 that were ever made. So, you know, something a little bit special there, isn't it? So, uh, to release it, guys, it's just the same as the SLR, okay? You just uh, pull down here on the tab, and it releases the bolt, and uh, you're ready to fire. So, when you fire, obviously, after you fire, with this particular rifle, you need to manually open the bolt so then it obviously um, shoots out that um, empty shell and you know, and then you can just load another round and then release the bolt and uh, fire again. On the uh, left hand side of the receiver here as well, we've got a uh, safety selector, so up for safe, you know, down for fire there. The trigger pull on this, um, you know, even though it's a target rifle, you know, it's uh, pretty heavy, you know, like we're looking at uh, seven pounds here with the uh, trigger pull gauge where I measured it. So yeah, very heavy. And I mean, you know, if we had a uh, target rifle these days that was a uh, seven pound trigger pull, I mean, most people would just, you know, they'd say, are you kidding me? Like this thing is far from a uh, target rifle, but yeah, it's uh, what you get used to. And I know that even when I was a kid, a lot of rifles I used and, you know, shot fairly accurately with, you know, they certainly didn't have really nice triggers in them. So it's amazing how things have changed, you know, over the time. 
So the barrel on this is uh, 21 inches or 53.3 uh, centimeters. So we've got uh, the front sight there. At the back, we've got this uh, center aperture sight. And this is the thing about this um, target rifle is there is this adapter piece, you know, put onto the side there. So it's an adapter plate, so it could accommodate the uh, central aperture sight or center target sight as, you know, some people know them by. Now, overall weight on this is not light. Uh, 4.9 kilos or 10.8 pounds so it's definitely you know a target rifle so what I thought I'd do guys is um you know we'll get out on the farm and uh, you know I'll just put a few shots through it and just show you how it is in general but um, you know if you do find one of these for sale these days roughly about that sort of five to six thousand dollars these will go for because obviously you know they are so rare but I mean, just have a look at this one, you know, before we go out onto the farm, let's just take a moment here to look at the, um, the uh, I guess, the quality of the metalwork, the timber. You know, this thing is pretty much in mint condition, isn't it? So, you know, I feel very privileged to be able to uh, share this with you guys today. So, all right, let's get out on the farm now. Let's put a few rounds down range and show you it in action. Okay, so guys, I thought I'd try to stay as Australian as possible and use the Outback ammo loaded with the 168 grain Sierra Match King. So I just want to put a couple of rounds through the uh, rifle just to get a good feel for it. And uh, then what we'll do is we'll shoot five rounds on uh, target there at 100 yards and just see the general accuracy that I can achieve here, you know, obviously with the open sights. He's that smooth. I was actually expecting a bit more recoil, but because it's so uh, heavy, it just soaks that up and it's just a really nice smooth shot that was. <laughs> I can see there on the gong, that's pretty much right on top of the other one, so. Yeah, obviously it's capable of some decent accuracy. All right, so you can see there, guys, you know, probably what, maybe uh, two and a half inches to three inch spread there. A little bit of guesswork because obviously most of the target's black and looking at that uh, front post on the site there, it's all black as well. So, yeah, a little bit of guesswork, but honestly, I think the rifle is capable of uh, much better than what I've shot it at here. But in general, it just shows, um, you know, the general accuracy that you could expect from the rifle. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap up my final thoughts on the SAF Lithgow target rifle. Now, this was just a real treat, you know, to be able to review this in general because, you know, having made so few of them, um, you know, there's not a lot around, and especially in this condition. I mean, you know, this condition is near on mint. It's just absolutely beautiful. Now, uh, shooting it is just a dream too. Like, honestly, it's just so smooth, you know. It's just like, I guess, taking a classic car for a drive. Same sort of thing, you know, it's just nice and smooth. There's just a lot of uh, workmanship that's been put into this. You know, the recoil got soaked up by the sheer weight of the rifle, so it was really quite nice there on the shoulder off the bench, no problems whatsoever. The ejection, just absolutely perfect. You know, as soon as you pull that uh, charging handle back like that round, it's out of there. So, 
um, yeah, I really don't have any uh, complaints with it. And I'm pretty sure that this old girl could probably shoot a lot better than I'm capable of. So, uh, you know, if you did actually see one of these for sale and you got one, I mean, it's just something really different to go out there, have a bit of fun and even go out to long range with. But yeah, I just don't want to uh, bang this old girl up. I mean, you know, the stock and everything's in near on mint condition. So I don't exactly want to uh, lie on the ground and put it up against any, uh, you know, dirt and rock. I want to keep it in pretty good condition as I'm sure you can understand. But anyhow guys, overall, just a great firearm, um, you know, and something a little bit unique for you. So if you do like it, please give it a thumbs up. Always subscribe and thanks very much for watching.